Speaking slowly So you can understand Just a couple of teachers Just doing a thing Speaking slowly So you can understand Just a couple of teachers Just doing a thing Here it comes give you that English dance and slow Gonna give it to you nice and slow We are rolling. This is Teacher Talk. He is Big Rich. I am Abe. We are English teachers. We speak a little bit slowly to help you understand our conversation. Very nice. Indeed, we do. How are you feeling today, Rich? You must be... You, you must be happy. I'm always happy, Abe. You, yeah, I'm sure you are. You, you... <laughs> Arctic fox. Arctic fox. You, yeah, I'm. You abominable snowman. You, you seem to be on the cold side while you, you ice man. Ice man. I'm ice man. Mister, Mister Freezy Cold I love guy. Cold. I love the cold. Happy today. Happy to be. You here. love the cold. Oh God, I love it. Both you and Ben, you have cold, dead hearts. <laughs> You're cold. Slightly, slightly I cold and dead. I hate the cold. Oh, God, I love it. I'm so happy winter's coming. You know what's crazy? Two days ago, it felt like summer. Yeah. It was 27 degrees. Yeah, Saturday was hot. And it was humid. Yeah. Yes. And then, boom! The big winter punch. Yeah. Bap! Hit us, and this morning it was all the way down to yeah. four degrees. Oh, four lovely degrees. Four, pff, <laughs> four lovely degrees. You can't possibly enjoy oh, that it. temperature. I love it. I Do love you it. really? I, I, look, the cold is the best. What is wrong with you people? And it's the worst. No, I love it. I love being able to put on a jacket and get toasty, but still feel a little bit cold. Love it. Mm, maybe you have a point. <laughs> it is nice when you're in a warm bed. You're in a warm bed, and then like, especially when your cats come and yeah, I get all warm and snuggly. They, they, they come in the covers yeah, and they yeah, yeah. It's cute. I guess that's kind of nice. It's nice, but getting out of bed is horrible. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. I'm gonna admit it sucks. It yeah, sucks. Just before a shower, getting naked and going, oh, God, it's cold. Yeah. yeah that sucks. You're looking down and you're thinking, <laughs> <laughs> wait, I thought I'm big rich. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's what, going what, on? What? Oh, right. It's very cold. <laughs> yeah. It sucks. <laughs> or, you know, you j just before you turn that heater on, you know. Looking at the temperature of the apartment being, you know, seven degrees, and you're like, oh, God. Yeah. That's cold. Well, anyway, I'm happy for you, I guess. Both you and Ben like cold weather. I think it's just I just don't like the hot. Like, it's too hot for me, whereas you, now it's fine. So if you can choose between being a little cold or a little hot, you prefer being a little bit cold. Definitely. Really? Definitely. Yeah, I'm the opposite. No, no. Anyway, Rich. Yes, sir. Uh, many, many apologies. Oh, why is that? Because I forgot to give you a gift. I love gifts, so no apologies. Well, Neat. I have this gift from a listener. Oh, okay. It's a well, t-shirt. Thank, thank you, listener. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. From uh, our good friend, uh, Hitsuji. Hitsuji, thank you. It's a navy-colored triple XL. Triple XL. Almost Is that size. too big for it you? It might be. It depends. Like, it depends on... You never know yeah. until you try it right. on. Right, But right. XL is not big enough. So maybe you're a double XL? Anyway. Uh, Anyways. What's it Here's say on the it? gift. 
It says Ben's famous advice or the expression he invented, uh, PMA. PMA. Positive mental attitude. Love that. To to try to help himself and others stay positive. I love staying positive. Remember that PMA? PMA all day, all day. All day, all day. Yeah. What happens at night? Well, when you're sleeping, I guess you can't control your mental attitude. Your mental attitude. So here you are, oh, Rich. Thank you very much. Wow, look yeah. at that. Triple XL. Triple XL positive mental attitude. I'm loving yep. it. It was actually written by uh, a listener's child. That's why it's so cute. Yeah, it does look very cute. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, yeah. It's G, for your uh, T-shirt. Speaking of T-shirts, Hi. I have new goods available now oh, great. at 55freebird.com. I've got T-shirts. Ooh. I've got tote bags. Very nice. And I've got caps. Caps as well. Yes. Much like yes. the one you're wearing. Very high quality screen printing. Ooh, Not the caps. The caps are embroidery. Really? They're sewn. Like the design is stitched. Yeah. But the t-shirts and the tote bags are uh, screen printing. So What does that mean, screen printing? It's just a way of printing like... I did shirts before the full moon Jamie right. shirts. The hat. Uh, the hat is embroidery, but the t-shirts were like this kind of different kind of printing where the quality is not quite as good, but you can be more flexible about oh. the colors. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, but these screen printing, limited colors, but very, very good quality. Nice. You see these shirts? I've been wearing them for four years. Yes. They're still in great condition. They are in great condition. Yeah. 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 So come check that out. The design is a parody of 007 James Bond because the Go Go Abe Kiowa podcast is about to reach episode 700. Wow. 700. 700 rich. That's a large number. It has taken about nine years. It's nine years? Nine years. Wow. Yep. Episode 700. Wow. Yes. And I'm very happy with this James Bond style design. The double O. Seven double O. The reverse, you know, zero zero seven, seven zero zero. Loving it. Loving it. <laughs> exactly, I Rich. On real I quick. knew you would understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you want to support me, I know it's not a teacher talk design, but you know, I've been working on teacher talk for years and years, never make any money doing this. So, if you enjoy the content and you want to support me, please come to 55freebird.com and uh check out the t-shirts, the hats, and the tote bag. And the tote bag. Anyway, Anyways, Big Rich, yes, enough sir. about me and my goods and my monumental episode 700. <laughs> what is up with you? I'm going to be talking with my friends from elementary school, which means we've known each other for well over 40 years. You're going to be talking with yes. them. When? In a couple hours. Oh, today? Yes. You have some kind of video chat meeting yes or yes 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 we have a planned video chat one of my buddies said, elementary school yeah well one wow. of them yes we went to elementary school together do you guys talk about elementary school memories no like remember that time uh, the in <laughs> mr harris's class when you farted yeah i've known him since elementary school the other buddy is the guy you met last year so I've known him since high school. Okay. He came to Japan, I remember. Yes. Mark? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, we probably talk about five to seven times a year. And Oh, that's fun. Yeah. So we have a planned call this afternoon. After we finish this podcast, I'll run home and chat. They probably are interested in my new life. Again. Oh, have you talked to them since you got married? Yes, once. 
How's uh, how's the newlywed life going? Haven't seen her in a while because we have opposite schedules. You haven't seen your wife in a while? Yeah, actually, okay, that's a lie. Last night we saw each other for the first time in like a week or so. You live together, though. We live together, but we have very opposite schedules. So wow, really opposite schedules. Yeah. You don't even see each other? On the weekly Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we don't see each other. Wow, yeah. really? Yeah, because she's asleep by the time I get home. So, And you just are like a ninja? Uh, very well, quiet. I mean, technically she wakes up and I'll like say hi to her when she's like sleepy in bed but like ultimately we're not really seeing each other so and then this week she just works every day so we don't have a day off together so she's like i guess i'll see her today when i go home that reminds me of an expression Uh, what's that you and your wife are like Two ships passing in the night. We are. We are. We definitely are two ships passing in the night. It's like yeah. when you're in the in the same place as someone, but you don't meet. Yes. Or when you're coming, they're going. Yeah. And you're close, but you're not really. But you don't actually yeah. see each other. Yes. You don't actually talk. It's an expression that means like, oh, you know, I just missed you. We almost met, but we didn't. We're like two ships passing passing in the night. night. We write letters to each other. It's kind of cute. Really? Yeah. Like, I'll get home at night and there'll be, you know, I'll wake up in the morning and there'll be a letter for me and then I'll write her a letter and then she'll get it. Oh, that's cute. It's super cute, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we write letters to each other, like, often, on the weekly, for sure. On the weekly. Yeah. What do you mean on the weekly? Like multiple times a week. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You're using slang. <laughs> yeah. You Sorry. slangy dog, Sorry. you. Sorry. On the weekly. It's often used, yeah. On the daily, on the, on the weekly. On the weekly. On the regular. On the regular, yeah. 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 <clears throat> yeah. Definitely not, definitely not slang. I wouldn't. That's I wouldn't not proper that. English. No. No, it's not. Yes. Anyway, two ships passing in the night. We are like two ships passing. Leaving each other love notes. We do. Isn't it cute? Yeah. Yeah. How, how are your breakfasts? Has she influenced uh, the way you eat? No. I think I influence her more than she influences me. Really? Yeah. She eats more vegetables because of me. Because you eat a lot of vegetables. Yeah. My uh, kind of impression of you my image of you Mm -hmm. it's like in your refrigerator you always have carrots and broccoli yes (laughs) it's funny yeah (laughs) like those are the vegetables you always seem to have and some sort of leafy green like a a komatsuna or a um a spinach spinach. or yeah Yeah, leafy green yeah yeah. Uh uh-huh yeah 100 percent. that's what i have in my fridge um she's influenced me we have a lot more sashimi like almost she loves raw fish she loves it she loves it so much that we have it every time i eat with her like on those days where we're ships passing in the night in the night we don't see each other therefore we don't eat together but like the days we do eat together it's almost always sashimi sashimi yeah she often Cooks it with like an avocado. Cooks it. I don't know. Prepares, prepares it. Prepares it with it, avocado. Avocado. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it, it's delicious with like that a helps. basil sauce or something. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. Okay. <laughs> avocado actually goes really good with ponzu. Yes, I like that combination. Yeah, yeah. a little bit acidic, that yeah. lemon kind of. Right. right. Yeah. Right. right. With the avocado, love it. Hey, speaking of sashimi, Uh have you ever been to Sushiro? Yes. Yeah, there's a new one in Sendai. Yeah, in the the arcade. Right downtown. Yeah. 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 I've become a regular customer. Have you? Yeah. All right. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, I've been there in the last month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Yeah. but not the one you're talking about. I don't understand how they make money. 
Yeah, it's pretty cheap. It's so cheap. Yeah. Like they have these campaigns right. where you could get like uh, Toro, like mm. fatty tuna, mm. for like 130 yen. That's cheap. So cheap. Yeah, that's dirt cheap. Yeah. I took a picture and I sent it to my friend in Canada. Mm. I was like, huh, look at this. This is like a dollar, a dollar and 30 cents. Right. And they're just blown away. They're like, that would cost $10. That one piece would cost $10. I don't understand how they uh, afford to have such deals and discounts and campaigns. The one I went to had virtually no workers there. Everything. Yeah. Everything is automated. I guess that's why. Yeah. Also. Yeah. Because yeah. literally you go in and out. Right. And you're not even talking to anybody. Yeah, I, I mean, I go between like wedding jobs. Like if I have a wedding job and then I have a couple hours, I'll maybe go to the gym really quickly, 30 minutes or whatever. And then I'll stop at Sushido and I, I timed myself. It took me 11 minutes. What? Yeah. That's quick. Like I went in, I ordered six plates, eight paid, left, 11 minutes. 11 minutes? 11 minutes. Wow. Yeah. You made fast. It's quick and it feels weird because you're like not needing to talk to anybody. Yeah. 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 It is. Well, another reason I like it is they have really good child seats. And you bring your daughter? Yeah. How do you? So I can go there, just me and her, mm. and comfortably eat. Eat. And feed her. Right. Feed her, you know, udon. I don't give her raw fish right. yet, right. but very comfortably. Oh, that's nice. Because the seats fit in the booth. Right. And they're so just really secure and right. so yeah. You feel good about it. Yeah. Sushido, baby. Sushido. Yeah, the cheapest sushi in town. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Sometimes you get a shitty one though. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't eat it enough. Really. For example, recently. They had tuna for 100 yen. Ooh. So that's two pieces of that's risky, sushi bro. for 100 yen. That's risky. Right. Too cheap. Yeah. But I ordered it. It's good. But after I ordered like five. <laughs> five. Yeah. Five <laughs> plates. So it's right. like 10 pieces. Right. They started sending me like. Disgusting. Yeah. Like oh, it had like, you know, the stringy white. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that. It gets stuck in your teeth. Right. It's gross and chewy. Right. I didn't even eat it. Right. I just left it. I was like, I'm not eating that. Huh. Look at all that white, yeah, stringy yeah. stuff. Yeah. I didn't complain either, though. I just left it. I was like... That's I, the complaint. I think that's how they stop you from ordering <laughs> yeah, too much. I give They're you like, the shit. <laughs> okay, you had five. Let's give him a shitty one. <laughs> Could be, could be. Could be. Anyway, Rich, yes, we have got something special here today. Ooh, 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 We've ooh. got something that makes us happier than anything in the whole world. A cold day. Well. Anyways, what's going to make us happy? I don't. <laughs> that would make you happy. Uh, we've got five-star review on Apple Podcasts. Oh, great. Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Yes, we got a couple you. reviews. Let's see here. The first review comes from Perfect Knitter. Perfect, perfect. Like perfect, but In a. paw, like an animal's ah, paw. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So like an animal hand, a paw. Perfect. Paw, so I paw. guess they must be a cat lover paw. or a dog lover. And a, a knitter it's using yarn or like thick right. threads. Right, threads. Yeah. yeah. It's knit, a knit sweater. Yeah, it's some, uh, kind of like a hobby some people have. Anyway, Pawfic Knitter says, I'm a fairly new listener, uh -huh. and I absolutely love their funny, sometimes even silly, conversations. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we're always silly. <laughs> a lot of times. I'm a huge fan of their skits. 
We haven't done skits for a while, but we used to. I don't think I've done skits. Maybe we'll try a skit, you and me, one day, Rich. Someday. someday. Yeah. Uh, As an intermediate learner, the slow conversation isn't always necessary, but I still love listening to them while I'm relaxing and knitting. Ooh, great. Ah, I knew it. I knew it was a knitter. (laughs) Uh, Hope they keep being naughty. Ooh, I love naughty. Oh, what was oh. that? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't have your ooh prepared. Wait, wait. Wait, what? what, what, what? There we go. What? <laughs> Keep being naughty. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was like a triple a ooh. triple ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. P.S. This is my first podcast review ever. What? Wow. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I feel honored about that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Knit away, my friend. Yes. Knit away. Good luck with your knitting. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and uh, the next review comes from a listener who recently also asked a question. Uh Do you remember the mother of K and Y? (laughs) No. You don't? <laughs> you forgot? We talked about it? KY Jelly? And KY oh, Jelly, yeah. I ah, remember. Anyway, the mother of KNY says, I always enjoy this podcast. I'm an English learner from Japan. Sometimes I miss parts of the conversation, but the atmosphere is so fun and pleasant that I keep listening. Oh, great. I replay the episodes again and again until I can understand the conversation. It's very useful for learning English, I think. Wow. Thank you so much. I look forward to learning more from your podcast. I also want to say that was perfect English. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I mean, wow. Perfect. Perfect, yeah. Our pleasure, yes. mother of K and mother Y. K and y. But I think these two reviews are interesting. Because? Well, because the first one says the slow conversation is not really necessary. Oh. Right? Okay. But then the second one says, you know, sometimes I don't understand. I have to listen a bunch yeah. of times. So it kind of like, you know, shows us there's like a, a, a range. Right. Of, of English us. learners right. who who can uh, find our podcast yeah. useful. So. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. A, I was happy to see that. Okay, so there's like higher mm. level people who can still enjoy it, and then there's people who need to listen a few times. Or, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, the, these reviews made me very happy. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm happy. thank you very much. And the expression of today. Is perfect. No, I would say it's two ships passing, passing in the night. In the night. Yeah. My wife and I. I hope you and your wife get to spend some uh, some quality time together soon. We one hundred percent had dinner together last night, which was nice. <laughs> Strange to say one hundred percent about something in the past. <laughs> it's like. It happened, Rich. <laughs> you know. Hey, man. <laughs> it's usually something you'd say <laughs> about a plan for the future. That's we just... 100% will have dinner together. That's how I roll. That's how I roll, Abe. <laughs> <laughs> no one understands me. <laughs> I, I understand, you know. Yeah. And uh, I'm guessing you ate sashimi. Yeah, there was scallops with avocado and basil sauce. Oh, as you mentioned, yeah. yeah. Oh, yummy. It was delicious. All right. Well, uh, I think it's time to wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lots of yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a hundred percent yeah. 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 <laughs> I I play the yeah yeah song as the ending. Okay, I'm not yeah. sure what the yeah yeah yeah. 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 Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's you. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, my yes. Okay, got yes. it, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> anyway, guys, please come to 55freebird.com. Goods are on sale now, and you can come and join myself and my good friend Yoshi celebrating our 700th episode in Tokyo on November 2nd. Tickets are still available. Come to 55freebird.com events page. And don't miss it. Coming in a couple days on Thursday this week, episode 700, the podcast. So we're having the podcast, and then we're having the live event in Tokyo about a week or so later. Uh, say goodbye, Rich. Have a good one, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>